The Sentai Review, episode 171. They're babies! Okay, so here we are. We are we are um, back on Ninja Turtles. It's time to talk about Ninja Turtles Two: Secret of the Ooze. It of the was ooze. the first one was massive. It got a huge review. It was a very long review. Very long. And we covered an awful lot of material. We were able to dig into that movie in a way that I never expected we'd be able to and do. And everybody loved it. It's true. Everybody yeah. loved the movie. It's it's the best Turtles movie they've ever made. And don't worry. We're going to do a lot of digging this time around, too, because I did a lot of digging. In fact, I'm going to go fucking conspiracy theory tinfoil hat on your ass at one point. <laughs> so, Reploid Bill, William Bush. Seth Lovell, Saria. Scott Action Jackson. Shane McCree, Proto Guy. Nick Bennett, Lone Paladin. Hey guys, I know you're about to get your podcast on, so I'll be quick. If at any time you feel like dropping your own opinion into what we're talking about, head on over to FandomNight.com and all of the contact information for every single one of our shows, including the one you're about to watch, is there. All right, guys, I'll leave you alone. Somebody's got to bring up the rear. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think we need to be talking about rears just yet. (laughs) So there's that. (laughs) Now you all know that Nick brings up the rear. (laughs) Brings it all the way up. Hey, <laughs> at least I don't have anything going into my ass. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. That's a good I thing. Mean, that's a good point, right? Did he die with dignity? <laughs> Define, Define dignity. dignity. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's awful. Nevertheless, we are professionals. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> Professional. Okay. So, Jack, taking a shit. <laughs> that is the most professional you can ever get, right? Who's got the first note here? I think it's Seth. Probably me, because I don't know about y'all motherfuckers, but I did find my DVD version that has all four of them in it. Yeah. And on mine, for some reason, I don't know about you guys, mine had two New Line title cards. It did it once. It was like, New Line Cinemas. I said, okay. do 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 Why is it? Did Dude. something... What? Yeah, I remember that. I had the DVD as well, and it plays the New Line Cinema twice for some reason. Before we continue, how did you guys watch this? I am curious. DVD. I saw it on Blu-ray. Blu-ray. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, the greatest. The greatest. Prime video. Nick, Nick saw Prime it in video. his dreams. I have Amazon Prime. I had to rent it. Oh, I don't okay. Own, I don't own All right. it. Fair Nick enough. saw it in his dreams because he was supposed to be here at about 11 o'clock to watch it with Bill, and he accidentally fell back asleep because I'm not used to being up this early. That's okay. Well, me and my girlfriend got here, so that way then we could do our laundry because I'm a <laughs> dumbass and didn't get quarters for the laundromat. Um, Bill was in the middle of, like, watching the ass end of it, and I was like, oh, yeah, no, here's one of my notes. Here's another one of my notes. Here's another one of my things. He's like, fucking Shut up. really? I'm like, Yes. He's like, shut up, Seth, save it for the episode. No. So you think you're starting us? Probably. Okay. Because uh, let's see, because, yeah, I've got, let's see, the two title cards. Um, and then, of course, as they're doing the credits and shit, obviously oh, they're like, oh, I by the way, Golden the Harvest. I'm like, okay, cool. You have before credits? Yeah. What? Okay. In memory of Jim Hansen, who passed away two months prior to the theatrical release of the first movie. Mm. Right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's see here. Are these still Jim Hansen puppets that they were using? There, I have a note about it. They were still made by the Jim, uh, Jim Hansen workshop, so. Yeah. yeah, but there's something wrong with them. Mm-hmm. Uh, after that, I think my next note is as they're going around, walking around New York City, showing people walking. With pizza? I don't know about you, but I've never, ever, ever in my life been hu- so hungry that I had to stop making out with somebody to eat pizza. I, I kind of question Hungry, that. Hungry, Seth. 
I would eat the fucking pizza before I started making I, out then. I, I, I question Lady it because... Lady needs some lovin's. I wonder if they I hired on extras. I can fucking eat pizza. If they just hired on extras and offered them free pizza to walk I can eat on. a sandwich it's while possible. taking a shit. Okay, so look. <laughs> I've done it before. Right off the bat, one major thing stands out. As for some reason, the endorsement deals seem to be missing that were present in the first movie. Mm. There's no Domino's, so there's no Pizza Hut. There, as far as I could tell, there was no Pepsi, there was no Coke, there was no anything of that nature. In fact, the closest thing to a straight-out hardcore advertisement that I saw was when the scientist pours crap in a cup and then purposely makes sure that the cup is pointed exactly at the camera so you can see Bart Simpson. Yep, I yeah. was about to say, dude, that's the most blatant, blatant fucking <laughs> advertisement you could get. That's nineties. Get to the camera. Yeah, he purposely <laughs> held it exactly, and then like walked at the camera, like, "Look, it's Bart Simpson." Watch this. We're yeah. sponsored by the Simpsons. Right. I was and like, "That's what the, the fuck? only people that would give us money." Watch the Simpsons. Watch Simpsons, the did Simpsons. Yeah. Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. So look, okay, not sure exactly. Okay. Wow, this this came out wrong. <laughs> okay. That's what she said. Okay, I'm not exactly happy about the, the extremeness. <laughs> I'm not exactly happy about the extremeness in which we have to put advertisements into our movies, but we do live in corporate America, so you're going to have to get the fuck over that. It also helps tie it into our real world because we are surrounded by advertisements all the day, all the day, all the night. Mm -hmm. So I have a big question. What the fuck is Roy's Pizza? Is that Roy's real? Pizza. Did that company somehow beat out Domino's and Pizza Hut, global, huge corporations to get Roy's all over this movie? Or did they just make that shit up? I'm guessing made I'm up. presuming they made it up. Like if it's they just they some didn't, random. Maybe yeah. Pizza Hut and Domino's were like, no, nah, I think we're good on the turtles. Especially it, after the concert stuff. No, I'm <laughs> wondering if the first movie chased advertisers away. Because look, that's what happened with Batman. Mm -hmm. Ooh. When they did the second Batman, they were like, all the McDonald's and whatnot that signed up to be a part of the movie were like, fuck that! And they dipped out because they saw what the fuck was happening and they pulled the Happy Meal toys and shit. Mm-hmm. And then the third one came around. They were like, we're going to do this shit here. And they were like, uh, no, no, we're not. Right. If Tim Burton is still there, then <laughs> we we're, we're not interested. Huh. Okay. So apparently it is a real place. Here's the is real question, though. It's Permanent, the permanently closed, though. But, yeah, yeah, see, here's the thing. Is it a real place or was it a real place after the movie? Or is And is it this in New is York? It, this is New York, yes. Okay. Because I typed in Roy's Pizza NYC. <laughs> okay. So okay. here's what we do. So it may have been a legitimate thing at one time. Mm -hmm. But they're permanently closed now, so... But that also makes me feel like investors and, and advertisers were like, fuck that, did you see that first movie? That ain't for motherfucking kids. And they ran away, mm -hmm. and in came Roy's Pizza, like, hey, I, I like turtles. Yeah. Name them. Uh, pepperoni, sausage, Not the cheese. pizzas, the turtles. Combination supreme. Close enough, blue guy. <laughs> Close enough. You're. We're gonna spot. We'll, we'll sponsor you. <laughs> right. Which is is kind of the point of like why the attitude is missing in this one, which is something I'll get into later in my tinfoil hat conspiracy wait, 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 theory. Wait, wait, you want to talk about attitude? What about our 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 uh, normal guy character start off attitude with the chicks outside? Oh my god, well, dude! See, that's, never that's caught that as a kid. Yeah. What a douche! That was fucking yeah, Kino, awesome. Kino fat shaming people outside the pizza place. Well, see that that's my. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, One, but they two, were three, shaming yeah. him. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They that's... were shaming him. Fucking size shaming. Yeah. yeah. And then he gets on the fucking little moped and he's like, "Well, then I'll dream of somebody a little thinner." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you see that woman's face. She's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fucking awesome. Because literally, my first couple of notes are making fun of that beginning fucking montage. There's motherfuckers running around eating pizza. Two cops are eating pizza. Purpose handcuffed to one of the fucking cops. Not even in the car, just hanging out. Should we right. take this motherfucker in? No, I'm hungry. Go I'm get a hungry. couple slices. Fuck Dude, it. This is Fuck Roy's him. Pizza. This is yeah. Roy's Pizza. <laughs> Best good pizza in New York. Crime can wait. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, like, you do know I murdered an entire family, right? We will deal you with do you. You do know this is sausage and pepperoni, right? Shit, you're right, man. Go actually, ahead. Actually, <laughs> all of them were just cheese pizza. 
Yeah, a lot of it was looking yeah. like just yeah. cheese. Yeah, the ones that like Mikey had, the ones with pepperoni. I'm sorry, guys, that did not look appetizing to me. I did not right. pay enough of attention, but I will say this: uh, the pizza seventies. The pizza this time was fake. Seventies, seventies. When it closed? No. When it opened? When, when it, it opened. was opened? Okay, so we don't so know when it closed a though. Roy's has Roy's was there before the turtles. But was it there when the turtles, or did it just close no, down and the it, movie saw the opportunity? No, it closed. Let's see. It's looking like it was still open in 2005. Then maybe then, somehow yeah. Roy's put their name on this movie. I don't understand how that happened. The there only go, thing Shane. I could tell you is that Pepsi, Coke, Domino's, Pizza Hut, all those places were like, dude, did we fucking put our shit all over that first movie? We need to get the fuck away from it. The only thing they yep. advertise was Roy's Pizza and Bart Simpson. Right. And that, that ice scene, unless you guys, unless you guys no, call something else. No, they, they advertised uh, some random jackass donut company. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's true. With the donut box. Oh, oh, oh. And, and vanilla ice. But do they make the donuts? He was, anyway, he was, he was relevant in the early 90s. Yeah, sure he was. Yeah. I don't well. Look, we'll get to that when we get there, because yeah, he was after a thing. Kino being a being he a was dude, a thing. He, he was you. there in the early. He 90s. was he yeah. was a thing. Because <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah give you that part. Wasn't that he, box? He was wasn't there. that donut box? Is like a rip off of a Krispy Kreme box, something like that. It was called like Better Donuts or some such shit. Okay, like, so now we're at the part where Kino goes into. Yeah, he yeah. goes to drop off the pizzas, and he sees that there's a van open with a bunch of boxes, and he's like. What the fuck? I'll say this for Kino. Second Donatello has bald balls to just simply walk into a situation that he absolutely knew had to be encompassing way more than, like, two guys with a truck. That's a moving service. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you, night security? <laughs> Dude, no, I'm actually Donatello's stunt double. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I be honest with you guys? Kino reminds me. He kind of looked not not completely... He kind of reminded me of a Liu Kang. Wow. What he a shocker. He was Liu Kang's brother. Hmm. He's the one that dies, and they find his body, and Liu Kang decides to go to the tournament. No wonder that he looks so damn familiar. <laughs> that be why he looks wait, so wait, fucking wait, 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 wait. No, that makes no sense, because Liu Kang's brother was younger, and Kino would have been older by then. No, Kino's in Mortal Kombat in the beginning the of the movie. The first Mortal Kombat movie came out in, like, 1995. So this movie this came movie out three years. This movie was It's only three years. Yeah, it's only three yeah, years, only three. man. And, he gets in killed, fact, in he fact, gets killed a couple by Shang Tsung. Yeah. Woo! In yeah. fact, a couple years Dude. later. That, yeah. That looks like a young, young kid. Not No, that's Kino. No, that's Kino. Dude, that's the joy Kino of went being from, Asian. Kino went from, Kino went from second Donatello... He went from second Donatello to Kino to Surf Ninjas yep. to fucking Lou. Is he the dude in Surf Ninjas who teaches him how to surf really poorly? Move your arms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not how you. Thanks for teaching me surfing, man. Yeah. Now I'm a pro. Yeah. No. Because the whole point <laughs> of your this. Knees, move your arms. Yeah. Because the whole point of Surf Ninjas is, is they needed to fucking make a movie. They already knew fucking Junior. Daddy, senior, is kicking ass and winning fucking titles at martial arts tournaments. They have an entire fucking school where they teach martial arts. Fuck it. Bring them motherfuckers in. Let's, let's let so them make kid, a movie. This kid got around in the 90s. Yeah. Um, with, I, with, not in the greatest With uh, Kino saying, um, you're under arrest. Under arrest? What the? I know he can do citizen's arrest, but then again, he's also another person who's break. Well, entering a store after hours as well, so he might be questioned as well. He would be questioned. There's, there's no doubt. Technically, about it. he's on private property. Yeah. Yep. So technically, He'd by doing the right too. thing, he's breaking the rules. Right. Okay. So here it is, right off the bat. My very first fucking complaint with the movie. It's simple, but I'm telling you, it's incredibly fucking relevant. I know this is a simple complaint. And I know that I really shouldn't be making such a big deal and nitpicking so goddamn hard. But the fact that the Ninja Turtles can literally jump from a standing position over this person's head has automatically, at the very beginning of the movie, removed it from all the realm of reality that it tried to establish uh, in the first film. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's such a small thing, but it really is a big fucking deal because they run down the stairs, they stop, they do this, and then they jump nine feet into the air over Uh this kid's head and land in front of him. After the kid did a triple take. And if you really think about that, the first movie went out of its way to ground everything in reality and say, this could happen. Yep. Now... We're barely five fucking minutes in, and already trampoline jumping turtles, and then this fight scene oh, proceeds. Let's talk about this fight scene. Let's Ooh. talk about the biggest joke um, of a fight scene you've I, ever I, seen. I, I, I want to bring up one little thing during the fight scene involving the credits. Now, we know it's based off the characters by Eastman and Lander. Yeah. But also said exclusively licensed by Surge Licensing, Inc. Was that one of the companies that they sold the rights to? When they started? I'm not 100% sure, to be fair. I could look it up, because literally my only notes on this is, uh, again, he had to do a triple take on the turtles. He looks up, what the fuck, looks back, huh? And then looks back to the guys like, okay, am I, and then looks back again like, is that four fucking turtles running at me? <laughs> well, let's be real. <laughs> let's be real. You would probably do the same thing if you're like, wait, somebody's behind me. What's that? Okay, people are here. Wait, what, what was that? Yeah, I would do a double. I wouldn't need to do a triple. Well, this well, it's probably like, wait a minute. Some motherfucking turtles? Sometimes, Seth, the disbelief is so hardcore <laughs> that even a double take is not is not true, but acceptable but enough. No, no, sometimes, it's a what the fuck take. Sometimes, sometimes you face That's usually palm. what the third take is. Let's talk about the two biggest jokes of that fight scene, all right? Oh, yeah? Uh, the biggest ones. Let's talk about the Donatello part real we quick. We got weapons. Let's play with the clown. Oh, that moves. So now I'm going to be the clown. And the fucking dumbass, that dumbass <laughs> runs by and looks like, I know what we were fighting these giant turtles, but let me go look at this giant turtle. Yeah, mm. like you could make that fucking mistake. <laughs> like it's even, po- in the first movie, they went out of their way to show you that when you saw them, they were monsters. You did not misplace the monster. Like, when he ran by that Donatello and stops and turns around and sees him again, he's like, what is Instead of kicking his ass, he (laughs) fucking goes over there and pushes him. And he goes like this. Boom, boom. Yeah. And then the guy's like, fuck you. And then he grabs a a foam Uh, stick. Yes. Why did he grab a foam stick? He's got a staff. No, he does not. No, No. no, he doesn't. No, No, he doesn't. If you're watching the beginning... He doesn't have his staff on his back. Nope. It's not there. And Mikey doesn't actually have nunchucks. He has these two holsters where nunchucks would be. And just like Leo has the fucking and sheaths. Leo has the sheaths, but there's no, no fucking so- swords there. Raphael does have his size. Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Randomly, now, he doesn't. The other part Randomly of that fucking does. fight scene, like you said, Mikey doesn't have nunchucks. So what does he do? He grabs sausages. Oh, oh that's God. What that's why I had for a note. Towards the end of this uh, family-friendly beatdown. <laughs> <laughs> right. You okay, know what? That was witty. You know what? <laughs> that was witty. He's in full session in the little sausage area. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Did, did you see that? Cause, cause I never caught it. I never caught it yeah. as a kid. But when he's beating those guys and he's jumping up, he grabs his own head well, like man, somebody's yeah. grabbing him well, and pulls yep. himself down. Yeah. Yep. I was like, dude, you're fucking... Yeah, because there there was the two things with that. The first is Mikey's doing the fucking yo-yo thing, walk the dog, all that, around the world. Oh, my God! Which, by the way, notice how the yo-yo has made a return in the brand new Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles? Yay. Hey, look, they're pulling from this fucking movie. Yay. Sometimes gotta have some fucking yo-yo action, And yes, Maniac Mikey with the real combat cold cuts. Yo, yo, fucking yo. beating those guys down behind the counter. You don't know what he's doing, but he's <laughs> jumping and grabbing his head, bringing himself down like, yeah. dude, I think they're dead. Which, by the way, yeah. since the fight is basically over at this point now. Mikey, you okay over there, buddy? Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Which, by the way, again, since the fight's almost oh, over. Oh, yeah, that voice comes back in this episode. Oh, yes. <laughs> by the way, uh, we passed it, but second Donatello gets the Justin treatment and is thrown in a, cra- thrown in a trash can. He should have been wearing blue. Yep. He was wearing blue jeans. There we go. Yeah. I but, saw that. I'm but, like, oh yeah. my God. That's where fucking Turbo got it. <clears throat> right? In the very beginning, the movie presents extraordinarily fucking big problems. If we're to complain, in the, if we're to compare the first film. First off, in this 
First off, we know in this, you may never lapse, is one of the lines told to us by Splinter in the first film. So immediately, in the second film, we put them in in a bright lit building where they expose themselves to around 50 something people Mm -hmm. in clear in a clear visual sight even letting two of them run out the door to spread the word to others that there are five foot tall mutant monsters running around the city the second problem that i see is that all four turtles showed up to whatever was going on without a single weapon amongst them nobody is even so much as wearing their weapons except for leonardo who plugs his swords into the ceiling and vamoos! They are gone for the rest of the motherfucking movie, giving yep. credence to the idea of now you see them, now you don't. Nope. <laughs> they come. They, he has his swords. They show up randomly. Yep. But Especially in the construction them. site, never yeah. uses them. Yeah. As far as he does. Yeah. He and pulled, then yeah. if you watch that scene, it's right gone, afterwards, they're gone. They're not there. Yep. Yeah. You want to know the reason? Well, the why? only time Raph uses his size is to catch pizza. Right. And you know the reason why? Because if you pay attention, voice actor for Leo, is he there? Is he the same fucking guy? Yes. Voice actor for Raph, is he there? Is he the same fucking guy? Yes. Voice actor for Mikey, is he there in the same guy? Yes. Voice actor for Donnie, fuck no. Reason why? Around this time, Corey Feldman went to prison and rehab for drugs. And because they knew that the first movie was nothing like the fucking cartoon... That everybody went to go fucking see? Because all this shit was like the fucking cartoon? They said, no, we don't want that. We need a family-friendly image now. You might need to say something in case you haven't been heard for a while. I think my mic's been off the whole time. I think you've been caught by his mic, because I've been seeing yeah. spikes, but they were they were low, and I was starting to wonder if I was going to have to say something. Right. But, wow. There we go. <laughs> Hey, um, look, our, our audio fuck-up for the night. Well, we all make mistakes. Yeah, the personality right. of the Turtles are also being stretched to emphasize, in a way, and bring personalities to the front, rather than doing it through storytelling, as the first film did. Mm-hmm. It is very obvious that Donatello is a geek, and Michelangelo is fun and crazy. Oh, crazy. Quote, unquote. Uh-huh. <laughs> Raph's a doofus. It is also immensely noticeable that Raphael is an asshole... All of these tropes were told to us and revealed through realistic ways and storytelling in the original movie, and this one literally has dumb shit happening to where all four turtles always have to have their say, and it always has to be in the new, established, cliche, hardcore character. I know this. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know what. I know, uh, listen. I love Raphael. I know he's an asshole. And know that he can be a hard, he can be a lot to take sometimes. But right. this movie, man, I wanted to punch him. He's a fucking right. dick for the sake of being, being a, a dick. dick. At least in yeah. the last movie, he had some good reasons to and be a dude. There was a reason right. that he was the way he was. We were able to analyze the ideas behind him and give give more power to his relationship with his brothers and himself. In this one, he's an asshole. That remember that story? Remember yep. that? Remember that brotherly bond that they had towards the end of the first movie, Go where on. him and Leo really connected at, in the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Sounds worse than it is. <laughs> they did not take a bath <laughs> together. Bye. But that that watch the other that, watch that, the other episode. That Leo that that, that 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 Leo would not leave his brother's side because he failed him. That brotherly connection was gone. Now yep. Raph is just a fucking d bag to be. That, dude, be creative if you're going to be a douchebag. I have right. something that I noticed nobody ever seems to think about, and it's probably because this movie is meant to be goofy and not meant to be what we just got done watching. What we just got done watching was hardcore and realistic. Mm-hmm. Then we go to this movie, which is supposedly in the same universe, so I have no choice but to apply realistic war- rules. And I have to say, no business in the world would have accepted the idea that he could go back with a pizza paid for, but not paid for by the person who was supposed to receive the pizza, and then not take another pizza out to the person that was supposed to receive the pizza, even if it was for free, saying, sorry, somebody literally paid for your pizza. That's why I'm late. So tonight, the pizza Mm -hmm. that the Turtles actually received at least four pizzas. Yep. Wait, four? I thought it was only two. No. No. If I if if you order a pizza right now, well, it, it, the the two he was well, delivering yeah, yeah, but, exactly. But Scott, look at it this way. So the other day, 
like the last time we got together to film for for the for the uh, for the writer and the robo, mm-hmm. we got done. We're all like, man, we're fucking hungry. What the fuck? And I told you guys, I got a coupon from Pizza Hut for fifty percent off regular price pizzas. And Bill goes, what the fuck? I go, yeah, I cashed in my rewards points with Pizza Hut, and they fucked up my pizza. So I walked out with three pizzas. The two that were right and the one fuck up. So this must be a, hey, sorry we fucked it up. Here's 50% off as a we're sorry. Hmm. Same thing would have happened here. If you just fucking walk up to a dude and go, give me your pizzas, and he hands you the pizza and you Whoa! walk off with it. He stole that guy's pizzas. Yeah. That's Spider-Man. He's got to go. Yeah. <laughs> but he's got to go to fuck back and be like, hey, somebody mugged That me. is a I great scene because Peter's running in the uh, in, in the uh, alleyway with the pizzas. <laughs> and then next thing you know, Spider-Man's coming. He's like, whoa, he just stole that guy's pizza. <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. So I dumb, love the fact so that good. that motherfucker, well, he drops the pizzas on the yeah. fucking... On the like the uh, uh, the, uh, the balcony, yeah. And that one guy just he's just sitting there. And he just looks over, and there's like six pizzas there. He's like, "Oh fuck!" He's oh, he takes a slice, right? Well, then Spider Man after he gets done saving the day, webs shit, the shit out of that webs pizza the pizza out of his hand. I'm gonna tell you something. That piece of pizza that just got web on it, I ain't eating that motherfucker. In fact, when I get my pizza and I open that box up and I see web on my pizza, I'm like, "What the fuck? <laughs> what the mm-hmm. fuck?" Spider Man right. had to save the day. So Spider Man delivered my pizza? No, no. I I was. I was falling off the bridge. So I don't want you delivering me. my pizzas. I don't know what hey, the fuck hey. you're doing. You know what's amazing? <laughs> no tip. I live on this side of the river. You didn't have to cross no bridge. I know where you work at, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's something else I got to bring up later. But, uh, yeah. So uh, back to the oh, turtles. Yeah. Because they are a reputable company, Bill's right. They should have got four pizzas, the two that they got and paid for, and then two of them for free, stating, oh, sorry, somebody stole your shit. Here you go. Here's more pizza. That's why I'm late. And at the same time, you can also tell because as they're doing the cleanup, you can tell this is the same universe. Look at Raph. Raph has battle damage on his shit. Right. It's not as bad as it was before, but there's still battle damage. He's always, he's always fighting, always right. fighting, fighting, fighting. Right. But it's all in the same spots as when he got his ass kicked by the fucking foot. Now I'm I'm going to bring up a question here that I I think we kind of touched on, but I don't know if we got a full answer. Plot-wise, how much time has taken place? Between- We're not there yet. We're about to be there because yeah. we have a huge conversation that we have to have. I, I, I'll let you. I'll let you add because okay. yes, yeah. we are going to get there. Uh, right now, we've right just now, been introduced to, to our new, new April. April. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry. And her new place. Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh, she did, she is the highest paid. She reporter. fucking sucks. Yes. She fucking sucks and it's not just that i loved the first april this woman is bad in this movie i don't know if it's her fault i don't know if it's a direction thing or what but she literally feels like she's in like a she feels like a guest actor for like power rangers or something isn't, yeah isn't she the same one that comes back for the third one yes yes okay. and she okay. fucking sucks yes okay she I did reason- not enjoy her and in fact yeah. this is going to make some people mad I would have preferred Megan Fox. Damn. Ooh. Shots fired. Shots fired. Fuck Duck it. and cover. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. Sorry. Yeah. At least Megan Fox had some kind of personality. This yeah. bitch Called is a piece tits. of cardboard. Yeah. She is. She's the, 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 she. She's as interesting as watching paint dry. It, watch her acting. I don't know. Paint drying is kind of entertaining sometimes. Right? Watch her acting. She's like, I'm by myself, so I'm irritated. I'm with my friends, so I'm having a good time. I'm standing by Donatello, so I'm I'm conversating. I'm standing by Mikey, so I laugh obnoxiously and fakely. <laughs> it's because I don't want to fucking die. Every time she's around a <laughs> different turtle, every yeah. time she's around a different turtle, she uses the one acting trope that she knows when she's around that one turtle. Yep. Every time. The whole fucking movie. The open Every mouth, fucking time. Open mouth face. Just watch her. I'm telling you. If she's by herself, she's irritated. If she's with Mikey, she laughs like an idiot. If she's with Donatello, she conversates. I was looking up why that woman didn't, uh, why the original April didn't. Oh, the original April? Yeah. Uh, if memory serves, it wasn't even like a contract dispute or nothing. Nope. She was just like, I don't fucking want to nope. come back. 
Nope, I'm, I, I have it right here. Why she probably looked at the script and was like, oh. "Yeah, no." See, okay, we, uh, Vanity sat down with Judith Hogg to get the skinny on exactly what happened on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that led to her not being invited back to, for the sequel. The actress revealed to the trade that she that she was never even approached about the idea of reprising her role for the first movie, and she blames it on her own personal complaining, particularly about the six day schedule and the amount of violence oh, in the movie. Yeah, that's right. Well, here's the thing. Well, this movie understand. would have been perfect for her because there's no damn violence. From what I understand, um, that girl did not realize what she was getting into. She, But that is a credit to the actress as well because mm-hmm. she was not uh, – this is true. I've heard this multiple times. She was not happy on the stage with the Turtles, and she was only on the Turtles because Robin Williams asked her to be there. Mm-hmm. She was a personal yeah, friend that. of Robin Williams. Robin Williams had a lot of personal friends who joined into places because he well, recommended it. He'd heard there was going to be a Turtles movie, and he told her, you got to do this. I love the Turtles. That's why she went. Mm-hmm. Well, you figure maybe she's the kind of person that is more prone to family entertainment. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she winds up in a Turtles movie that is... Pretty fucking hardcore in its time. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. And if you really look, to at be honest it, with you, if that fucking eighty nine, the movie that came a year out before that Batman movie was R rated, this Turtles movie could have been. And if right. you if you really if you really want to give it to the first actress, uh, she stuck with it. She stuck with it, and even though she was unhappy almost every day of filming, she was tired and she didn't want all this violent movie shit. She did her job, and she's a believable April the whole time. This fucking girl is cardboard. Yep. Megan Fox, April for life, goddammit. I'm telling I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Megan Fox is higher on my April totem pole than this dumb cardboard bitch. <laughs> now you have just pissed off the internet. Only some of Good. it. Some of it. There yeah, are people out there that will believe there's, you. There's chunks of the internet that's probably like, yeah, fuck that bitch. Was Megan Fox awful? Not as bad as this bitch. She was okay. <laughs> And that makes her substantially better than Cardboard Bitch. But we all know who the best April O'Neil is, so... From the animations. The big-titted yellow raincoat April. Banana raincoat wearing bitch. <laughs> Banana raincoat My favorite bitch. April as of today is the Nickelodeon one that recently went bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, the younger one that started studying under Splinter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I could agree with that. Here we are treated to our first redundant, stupid, forced fight between Leonardo and Raphael, showing us that the only character still remaining with the same attitude from the first movie seems to be Master Splinter. However, he's fucking stupid, too. Oops. Yep. Uh, I had a few notes before that. Oh, go ahead. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, when April gets back to the apartment, uh, apparently Maniac Mikey left us plastic snake there to scare the shit out of april yep because he's an asshole you see what i'm getting at this is what i mean by look they they figured that this time they would be talking to children and they figured kids is dumb yep it was no deeper than that kids is dumb we have to make sure that they know who the turtles are uh mikey's oh, fun yeah. Fake snakes, dumb toys, chopping his chores, not doing anything that he's supposed to do, uh, always telling jokes. April laughs when she's around him, so he must be funny. Hey, look, here's comic books. Oh, those must be Leonardo's. Uh, actually, that brings up my next one. How oh, much... hey, look, waits, Raphael. How much of an insult is it saying that the rat is the cleanest one, especially in New York? You know what? She picked up the skateboard and said Donatello. Yeah. Because he was, cause he the, was the one using movie, it in the first movie. He was always on the board. Oh, yeah. I always thought Mikey was a skateboarding dude. Mm-mm. I'm surprised in this movie he wasn't. Right. And he did, then he did go they, surfing on a chair. And then, of course, when they get oh, back with the God pizzas, damn. then it's like, oh. hey, where are the sprinkles? I need sprinkles for my pizza. Oh, speaking of the so pizzas. So now they're back to the crazy, weird, bullshit toppings from the cartoon. With as much as the pizza boxes get shaken up and stuff. Right. Shouldn't that stuff be all over the place inside the box? Nope, magic pizza. Yep, yep. This is Roy's movie, movie magic pizza. pizza. Yeah, you ain't never had no Roy's, motherfucker. And you never will. That shit closed. And by no. the way, that pizza was fake as shit. Oh my god, yeah. it's yes. fake as shit. Yes. It was like plastic and fake. And dude, okay, listen. 
It, it, it's, even it's if I what's could, referred to as commercial food. Even if I could believe for a second that that cheese was real, <laughs> that pepperoni wasn't. And I looked at that when he was looking up, when he was talking to the do- the professor over the fucking little cauldron of goop. And Before I was you like, dropped it in, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's some fake ass pepperoni, uh-huh. dude!" The, the the pizza's in there, like when he jumps over and he catches the pizza. When Raph catches the pizza on the side, <laughs> and like you look at it, it's like it's like plastic. Like, look, I get it. Okay, you wanted to add this little funny scene, but at least. In the first movie, it was a real pizza. Yeah. And let me get and Raphael in the first movie wouldn't have done that. Right. He wouldn't not have done that, that. I could think of. He would not have done that. Especially whole... considering the fact that throughout the entire movie, apparently now that they've been up here for <coughs> time. Time. <laughs> That's all we're doing time. right now because yeah. I have it. I'll, for, for right I'll, now, I'll it's <clears throat> time. They've been watching a lot of football, <laughs> apparently. Yeah, there's been a lot of football in their life recently. Very fucking recently. He's gotta enjoy a good game of football. Because there was no football in their life before this. Because you see, what it's like, and the guy, if he loses contact, he can't see. <laughs> now, now during John, during the man. little argument, <laughs> saying Splinter took out the shredder. Nope. Casey took out the shredder. Oops. <laughs> yes and no. Uh, he finished I mean, him off. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, finished yeah. him yeah. off, yes, but... No, not jerk off. <laughs> I gotta finish him Oops, all I right. murdered somebody. Yeah. Oops, I murdered somebody. <laughs> oh, oh, it's, but but Splinter did Splinter, it was all an accident. He even tried to reach, you know, they tried to reach out for No, the, no, technically it wasn't an accident. Technically, the one who ended Shredder, other than Casey with the fucking, uh, oops, 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 is Shredder. Shredder killed Shredder. If yeah. he would have held the fuck on and jumped off to the ledge. He'd have been ladder. fine. Instead, he pulls out knife and throws it, and the rat goes, catch, oops. And then while he was falling, the rat was like, fucking dumbass, I was trying to dispense some wisdom. <laughs> I'm trying to be Yoda up in this bitch. <laughs> and then he falls into the dumpster, and Casey's like, I got wisdom for you. Oops. oops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my bad. I just think mur- long and hard about this, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Casey, did you just murder him? Uh, no. 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 I walked by and I was fiddling with some knobs. Actually, if you want to get one te- of them went technically, off. Casey, did you murder him? Mm-mm. That did. I just oh, pushed a button. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. No. Casey, did and you murder him? About that. Define murder. Can you murder somebody by pushing a button? Yes. So we're still here. We're still here in the uh, apartment. In the apartment. From leader to immense kiss ass, they wasted no time whatsoever in. Dishing out the cliche in these characters and ruining Leonardo from the very beginning of the film. Mm -hmm. It is exactly this kind of leader writing that gives us reasons that people hate characters like Cyclops and Leonardo. They fall into this category because the people that wrote this movie only know how to write the cliche leader and not what we got in the first film where it shows us that a leader is always on the lookout for his team in general and the well-being, both physically and mentally, of the surrounding brothers. I give you a lot of shit. I know you like Leonardo a lot. I give you a lot of shit because there are times where I tell you he's an awful fucking leader. This movie proves that he is an awful fucking leader. (laughs) In the first movie, he made mistakes. And you know what? He grew from it. Yeah, and he this re- one out the only one window. time did he not grow from it, and that's when I oh you're, you're the rat's dead. Ah, that was pissed. That was a stupid mistake. Yeah, but other than that, yes, Leo started off making mistakes. He, he, he my fault. Wrath is dying. It's my fault. Right, I should have stopped him. I should have stopped him. Right, in this movie, let him go. <laughs> you let know what happens? Do you do you know what happens to Raphael when you let him go? Yeah. He gets beat up. It's not just that. It's and, and especially fight. the reason why they're fighting. Oh. We need to find a new home. April, who's doing what most people usually do? Well, I mean, I like having you guys around. It's okay if you stay, but I mean, I'd really rather you guys find your own place. But it's okay. <laughs> I can't. You do home. realize I can't have friends over, right? Because you're four giant fucking turtles and a rat. Exactly. She, wait, wait. You assume she has friends because of the four giant turtles. She and has rat. to. She, she has, has to. Has to. She, she has, has to. I mean, she's a, she's a human fucking adult. And she's also the highest she, paid she, reporter. She might have a few pals over at the news station, but... And, you, and she, she has ne- to have some And friends. she can never yeah. invite them over Think about because... it. 
Does, okay, her dad died. That doesn't mean her mom's gone. Doesn't mean her brother, her sister, her aunt, her uncle, her so nephews, whatever. Her mom like, calls her one day. Hey, honey, I'm in town. I'd like to come visit you. Sorry, oh, you can't, mom. Impossible. Not possible. And then she hears noises. Who's there? There. Movers. Movers. Leave it. Got a new place. We're, yeah, we're, I gotta I, go. Yep, Sorry. Bye. Can't have friends or family over because I got you four turtles. She's a yeah. she's a grown ass adult. There has to be somebody somewhere that she's friends with. Somebody right. from out of town. Somebody she grew up with. I like, get it. Come over. I get it. You have. Yeah. I get it. She was and she was being polite. You know the yeah, whole. So you she, can stay. She's trying to be polite, but at the same time, the whole reason why they're getting to the fist fight is Raph is going. Fuck it. Let's go back to the sewers. And Leo's. No, we can't go to the sewers. We got to go somewhere else. Why? Who the fuck is left? And he's partially right. They didn't know that the shredder survived. They didn't know exactly. that there was still remnants of the foot. Exactly. They thought they all they de- they defeated all of them. But the whole fight is forced in general. Look, exactly. There's a reason they're up here. Okay. There's a reason they're up here. They say, look, uh, and yes, there is a legitimate reason they can't go back to the den. Does five hundred foot clan know where they live? And while that may not be a problem Tautsu. for four guys. Touts is still out there. What if they fucking leave one day to see April and the whole fucking scenario plays out again? Yep. Yeah. I get it. Splinter's not exactly fucking doing backflips. Yeah. No, the turtles are. Like, <laughs> although it's not to say that the sewers still couldn't have been a fucking good idea. They should have just. You okay. Act like, you act like that. That's the only yeah, part of the sewers in New York. That's the only part York. of the sewers, yeah. You're the largest in city in America. City. That's just it. They can't go to their den, and they haven't looked for a new place. Yeah. And this fight is forced because you mean to tell me this is the first time this has come up? Yeah, exactly. In the X amount of time? Yeah, in the <clears throat> time. You, this, was, this is only brought up right <clears throat> now. <clears throat> it's never been. It's never happened before. This fight. This fight had to happen right now between Leonardo and Raphael specifically. Because yeah. those are the only two that fight the whole fucking movie. Yep. I t- okay, you know that, that bond that Mikey and Donnie have? I can still see it here. Those two always get along. You know, Leo gets along with his brother. Raph is... There's a... Uh, when we get to it, um, um, it's when um, Keo... Kino? Kino. Kino. When he come, Second Donnie. When he, when he comes into the apartment, we'll get to that. There's a reason. Right. I, I never noticed it as a kid. Can't believe I never noticed this. <laughs> but we'll get to that. So, okay, are we leaving the apartment now? Let's leave the apartment. Uh, yeah, let's leave the apartment. Let's let's go to uh, Shredder waking okay, up. Okay, here we go. Aside from the fact that the Shredder should be dead, I have to ask a very legitimate question. How much fucking time has passed? Mm-hmm. Because if I'm to believe that the Shredder was simply dumped here in the garbage, that the tru- and that truck simply pulls up and drops a load and then pulls away, mm-hmm. then the Shredder just stays in the garbage truck until now all the foot soldiers go here to the fallback spot yeah it makes it seem like the it makes it seem, seem like, like the, the same night. was yesterday yes like it was like it was the same night yeah. if not the very next night so how the but, fuck does they the already have a brand new wait, apartment wait 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 wait. i thought the shredder came out of some garbage farther away from where the dump garbage was getting dumped at though probably went to the oh uh, that would make that would make any sense yeah because he crawls out of the garbage and goes to the fullback spot and i mean if he's walking if he's walking looking like that nobody notices him yeah the scene is literally hand comes up out of garbage shaky ah fall down quick question and then two or three fucking foot soldiers come running up oh man Fuck! Where is everybody? This is the fallback spot, and they're running they know like to come here. they're running like it happened tonight. Yeah, like they're gathering. It you didn't like notice it, it? It seemed like it took like like the, the fucking turtle. We can't go that, back to the warehouse. The cops are looking there. Bitch, how do you have a fully furnished apartment with eighteen boxes of pizza lined up? Yeah, where these two motherfuckers are arguing about where the fuck to go. We need to find a new place. We've been looking, but we can't find it. There's other there's other problems here. Didn't you know? She's the highest paying reporter in the city. She's got a couple places. No. No. No, because for some reason Okay. She look. owns the entire penthouse no. level. She yeah, but no no look. She got a, this is this is the kind of time this passed. She has a new place, she has a new boss, she has a new position. She does not have the office that she was promised, so she must have already been moved from one section to another. She's not doing the same kind of reporting that she was doing in the first movie. Mm-hmm. The turtles, the, the the shredder, 
I, I, uh, I guess not lost consciousness? Okay, so here's the thing. Remove the shredder from the equation. How long would it take to get the new place, get it furnished, get moved in, come back to New York for that matter, mm-hmm. reestablish your job, go into the 401ks and shit like that, start going back to work, your boss leaves, a new boss comes in, and you are established and already have a relationship with this new boss. Three months? I guess roughly a weekish. Look, no, Let, no. Some, for some Hold of that. Up. Let Too me fast. put it to you this way: my job went bye bye. They literally at working at the call center. I do. My account went bye bye. I no longer get to deal with people who are crying and bitching and whining about doors and windows. Thank you, God. <laughs> You're welcome. It took two weeks. Two weeks. They they went around to the other accounts that were there. Now I'm now I'm dealing with vacuum cleaners. So if your vacuum breaks, you'll call me. I'll tell you to fuck off. Empty the damn Get bag. Call here. me back later. <laughs> Speaking of that, I am having problems with my vacuum cleaner. Uh, fuck I'll off. Talk to you empty later your then. Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I'll talk to you about that later then, because I don't want to fucking tell you. Uh, double check which brand no, and figure all that but shit out. Le- legitimately, but literally, she has basically changed. She's changed no. sections in the in the news office. She got her job back. She um her boss left and she got a new boss and she's acquainted with that boss she is acquainted with that boss Mm -hmm. they talk like they fucking know each other that is Mm -hmm. not that that's not somebody we know we don't know that fucking guy we know the guy who answered the phone and said hey there's a guy called his name is donnie we know that guy that's leonardo but we're not there yet but (laughs) but okay his name's donnie not as cool as leo i mean she was able to move into this new place and everything and, look, you know how long it fucking takes to unpack after you move? And look at her fucking place. Yeah. There's nothing waiting to be unpacked. Yeah. It takes- oh, and everything she has is new. You yeah. know how I know it's new? Because everything she had is fucking gone. It yeah, got burnt, burnt up. on fire. Which, hopefully, she had renter's insurance. So that means that she had to buy new bed, new couch, new furniture, new TV, new, new setup, new, new bar stools, Don't new cups. That. Yeah, new cups, new dishes, new every fucking Basically thing. Basically, what, uh-huh. what, what it is, is it takes months. It takes months worried about. to get this established. Months. In months. real lifetime. Okay, getting a new apartment, that possibly could take a week or two. Possibly. And even then... Depending on if they have to go in and fix it up or anything like that. Right. Unless it's already brand fucking new, ready to be moved in. Then and you can maybe be... she bought an apartment that was pre-furnished, but like... That's, that so is that's possible. possible. Shit. But your job. Yeah, actually the news channel might have been able to uh, uh, pl- uh, give her a place temporarily. But they owe her nothing. They yeah. don't owe her anything. They don't owe her shit. Because remember, she got in fired. Fact, she was straight yeah. up fired. And then she, at the end, when that guy's like, we, I want you to come back. This is a big fucking story. I want you to come back. Ooh, I'm gonna I don't be know. Neat. I'm, I'm not the highest paid actress. Well, now you are. Now, remember. Oh, well, how about a corner office? We'll give you the corner which office. Which she does not have. That she doesn't have. She, she has an office, have, so but she's not a corner. Been, she's been moved. She's been moved. And the reason I know she's been moved is because she is on. Is it still, is it Channel 3 News that she works for? Yes. yes. But she's on the news floor. That is not what, she, that was not what was agreed upon. Right. She was, it was agreed that she would be up in the offices, a corner office, highest paid reporter in the field in all of New York. That was the agreement with and the original boss. She's already gone back. Yeah. The original boss has already quit. She's already been moved back down to the news floor. And then after she was moved to the news floor, that that guy must have quit or whatever. And then he probably fucking got guy fired came because his kid was a part of the crime spree. So this, this is a Channel 3 yep. Action News report. So the guy who uh, who runs our station, he's a douchebag with a douchebag kid, and the douchebag kid stole shit in the crime. Oh, you're, okay. you're, you're, you're... I'm, no, I'm willing to agree with that. The integrity of it in general says that he can't come back. Yeah, he can't come back. Um, and since he can't come back, they fire him. Okay, and that this probably look th- this kind of story doesn't just happen overnight either because all the police records and things like that had to go through. Foot soldiers had to be picked up. They had to go to jail. Information mm-hmm. had to be done. Well, the ones they that to, they could find. They so, had to talk right. to people. After some talking, it somehow led back to Danny. Danny somehow got talked to. That came back on his dad. The 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 station fucking let his dad go. April was 
shafted from the deal she was given, pulled because, out of her yeah. office, put down back onto the news floor. She has a new fucking boss in general that they brought in because of that. She got a new fucking place. A lot has goddamn happened. And that we're going to go ahead and say that's what happened. 12 so hours. So the only thing, because in my notes, hours. As it's, <laughs> right, but as it's written in my notes, the only thing that I could think of, it's a fucking flashback without the fucking boo, 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 boo transition. No, how long has passed? That's the billion dollar I want to say months. Okay. Well, I would agree say on a half, time. I would say half a year at minimum. Six months. Would the Shredder have been in the... No, I, th- we're going to talk no. about that. Right now, he doesn't exist. As a minimum, just, the absolute Just quickest. what's going on right now with the Turtles in an April. At minimum, most. Six look, months. No, minimum, minimum. Of three weeks to a month. Maximum. Minimum. Because she is already irritated with them living with her. Because if she gets the apartment prefab, so everything's already fucking there, half that shit don't look like shit she had with your your boss. No, I realize that, but we have to we have to give some kind of credence. The only thing I could come up with is it's been a month and a half. That is the least I can give it. But I agree. I think this is like almost half a year of development that somehow actually could not have taken can't have, it could well, not since have been the movie long. came out, yeah. since the first movie came out in 90, 1990, and the second movie came out in 1991, could say a year, but... I right, think, but... But Shredder crawling out of no, the thing, but see, we're not there that's yet. that's just it. That's just it. Okay, we just had this fucking problem. If we even, if we even... Right. Give it that month and a half, which is unreasonable, but if we give it that month Listen, and a half... Shredder, that sleep. man was taking a fucking healing nap. Now, here's the, here's the thing. <laughs> No, here's he's the gonna thing. have broken bones no. from fall. He's getting Bullshit. that Superman he nap. Was, no, he was day. dumped today. You don't understand how ridiculous this really is. You're not even looking into it past the idea that he's there. Right. A garbage truck picked up garbage, put the garbage in the garbage truck, smashed it, and then parked for a month and a half. Then the worker finally came back, got in the truck, drove over there, and dumped the motherfucker. Or, mm-hmm. or a more ridiculous thing. The truck, they, the dumpster he fell into, sat there for a month. Then they took it over. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. 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 Quick question. I got I to no, ask. No, no, no. no like evidence and in investigation. Thing. It might have been part of the evidence and investigation, which might, might be why it might have been parked somewhere Somebody would have found him in there. Yeah. <laughs> right. The cops fucking cop had to rolls up. He's <laughs> like, fucking get these motherfucking gloves on. And exactly. So the Pick only... up this one yeah. fucking condom. Nope. I'm done. Fuck this. <laughs> exactly. The shredder. I want to. I want to really yeah. put your mind at something. You think oh about. God. You think about the shredder needing you threw revenge. Your spooch-filled condom in the Listen. dumpster. It it's sticks done. On the, it sticks on the shredder. Dude, no. <laughs> That's why he needed the mask. <laughs> no, but I really, I really want you to think about something His here. His face. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> no His face. But yeah, but you see, this is just <laughs> it. That's what I do, did it. <laughs> I, I don't think you, I don't think you really stopped oh, to think shit. about the horror hey. that Shredder just went through. Hey Shane. Uh, yeah, no, uh, I don't think a you, condom sticking on uh, my face no, is horrible. That's a joke. That's a joke. Realistically, in order to make this work, okay, the Shredder was crushed. Was John today. The Shredder was crushed into garbage, yep. taken to the taken to the dump that night. That night. Dumped in the dump. About two months fucking passed while he ate rats and garbage. And probably crawling out of the garbage. As he crawled uh-huh. his way to the top of the landfill. Because he's going to have broken bones from that land. Well, now I want to know something else. And that two uh, months while he's eating boom. eating rats and trash and trying to recover so he can make an epic comeback. Yeah. Did he fix his helmet? Because that helmet was smashed. Magic. Yep. See, can't, can't explain. Can't oh, wait explain a minute. Helmet. Hold on. Yeah. Broken bones and stuff fall or from a fall, right? Yep. I broke both arms hold, literally on hold ground on. level. Hold on. Broken bones and shit. <laughs> You're going to assume that some of those had to have been compound fractures, right? He set them. No, <laughs> Bill. <laughs> compound <laughs> fracture he means set it them. busted through this skin. Shadow warrior. No, technically, compound <laughs> fracture means that the multiple bones are broken. No, compound fracture is when you break a bone and it busts through the skin. Shadow warrior. Regardless. No. Open. You don't know what about wounds. You don't okay, know about I'm sorry. Ages. I'm sorry. The motherfucker's got a magical helmet. 
The wound is starting to smell oh. a lot like almonds. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's gangrene. <laughs> Fucking open wounds. Crawling for two months in trash and shit. <laughs> hey, this and piss. This is the nineties. There's no, perfectly good newspapers he can up. use as bandages. <laughs> would would still get soiled real quick, Seth. <laughs> yep. Yep. Just to make motherfuckers sure. got blood poisoning and just, dead. Just to make sure Nick is Ninja correct. Ninja warrior. But look, for Dude, I know my medical shit. For <laughs> reasons. <laughs> Four reasons. I'm four hearing, kids. I'm, I'm hearing like four different re- things on what a fucking compound fracture. Four I had to reasons. Look it up. Four reasons. He fell Who's five stories. In the medical field. He fell five stories into the back of a what? garbage truck. Me. Rolled into the garbage truck into the back. Got fucking crushed into garbage. Was dropped off that oh, night. Yeah. There's at another the dump. thing. Trash. Crushed into him. Even yes. more open gaping wounds. He was. He's tough. Right. He's ninja shadow shadow warrior. That motherfucker's yeah. immune system. And then the motherfucker shows up. Shows up at the rendezvous point. You don't know about ninjas and shit. Shows up at the rendezvous point. And that guy's like, he's oh. not even ninja. He's assassin. So because he's assassin class, he has to know about poisons and shit. Nope, they're ninjas. Poisons and shit doesn't have anything to do with bacterial infection, Seth. No, I don't know listen, about you, but a lot of it, motherfuckers who do that, they it end up doesn't, having a fucking I'm mess not with saying them. that it can make sense, but this is the only way it can happen. The truck cannot have just fucking sat there for a month, for a month or two months. They had to have dumped the garbage that night. Why didn't he crawl out of the garbage that night? He couldn't. I'm going to yeah. do something that makes us all go away. Don't view. That, that plot hole <laughs> can't <laughs> move <Have> to. on. <laughs> Sorry. We can't. We can't view that plot hole. Do you want to know why, Seth? Because he's buried in the trash with spooge on his face. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes back to the fucking... Uh, That's going to be my uh, best contribution to this episode. The, be- the, the, be- the next time, when he goes to the rendezvous point, that guy's like, oh, his face. It's not because it's cut up. He's got spooge everywhere. It's like, what the fuck were you doing, dude? Um... <laughs> Well, either Shredder, way, sir, if, um, did a homeless man show up on your way here? Yeah. Dude, well, I'm telling you. Okay, look, either way, if we're going to move on, then the next thing. We that can't we have move to on until we've settled on something. This is the way our show works. We settle. This is We fixed every one of these things in Power Rangers. Every time we come across something that's ridiculous, even when we say don't view that plot hole, we give it a relevance. Every time. It's how our show works. Even if we have to say. This guy must be fucking stupid. Sometimes that's the way we get away with it in Power Rangers. In this, he spent at least two months in a garbage dump and was mm-hmm. not able to climb out for reasons. Well, they might yeah. have also been dumping additional garbage on top of him, too. Which... Exactly. Yeah. So he's got busted two bones months. he's trying to come out, and then they keep dumping on his ass. Two months' worth of shit dropping on him. Of and for shit. reasons, And uh-huh. for some reason... The Sometimes foot, literal, yes. for some reason, the foot has not bothered to meet up until two months later. Or those guys are Acting really, like everything was really the slow. <laughs> they, they left the fucking crime scene. We'll get there now, eventually. it's true that some of these guys could have laid low, and yeah. a lot of them wait, did. Wait, maybe, t- it was purposely, maybe it was purposely set that if something ever happened, you disappear. And then when you get the sign, you meet back up. Yeah, Which might have been Tatsu. And Tatsu but, might be the one that gives the sign. Yeah, ta- yeah, Tatsu might have stayed hidden because he got taken down by Casey. And, and, he, everybody probably, did. and he probably had to sit around and be like, did I really get beat by that man in the hockey well, mask? No, everybody had to have disappeared. Everybody had to have disappeared. And there's, there's something in their thing that says, look for this sign. You'll know to meet at the garbage dump. Yeah. But this is like two or three months fucking later. And it's fi- it's fine that they're just meeting back up, but the shredder has laid in garbage, eating scraps of old bananas and shit, yep. for know, like three months. Well, it makes sense on why he's always mad. There, there's another thing <laughs> throwing a wrench at that one too. How the hell was he breathing? He disgustingly. Is, you know what? We're just gonna would have ran out of air, especially with extra trash being Ninja. dumped on him. He is magic. Ninja. He is a. He's the magic no, man. No, I, I'm telling you, it doesn't need to make sense. It's fucking ninja. They do this all yeah. the sh- all the fucking time. There's ninjas that supposedly lie underwater for seven hours. Yep. 
And there's, there's ninjas that can supposedly simulate death and transfix their body into a coma. To stop, where the, they, and, and their yeah. heart only pumps like once a minute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just enough to keep the blood Just enough to keep the blood flowing. So there's all kinds of bullshit ninja you can put in here. Yeah, that's what he did. That's what he did. Okay. Yeah, he, let's he, just he, move on. He found a pipe that was sticking out. He was able to breathe through the pipe. <laughs> um, um, until a homeless guy. Boot! <laughs> <laughs> As I said, until a homeless guy. Because <laughs> a homeless guy's over the pipe. Oh, yeah. And he's like, oh, this yeah. Is my God, this, this Dude, is... Dude, well, either way, if we're moving on, then we get to Shredder fixing his helmet, who, you know, talking to Tatsu. He sharpened... Riven. He sharpened his helmet. That don't fix a crush. Yeah, it does. He added spikes to his helmet. Yeah. Wow. You know how it fixes a crush? You just grind it away. That's not the same helmet, to be fair. No. No, it's not. The helmet That's that he's wearing, true. he didn't need to fix that helmet. He didn't take his helmet and modify it. It's not the same helmet. You could tell by looking at the side. It is not the same helmet. It's bigger on his head than the last one was. It's plated. It's designed differently. And that top spike thing didn't even exist on the original helmet. Fine. Yeah. I will agree. Okay, that makes more sense That's now. a different helmet altogether. Oh, so bring me my spare yep. helmet. That, it has to be. It's a different helmet. We lost it in the fight, Master Shredder. And since he very much, Get since he very much, one. since he very much is playing off the samurai, idea he might have multiple helmets that's not out that's not outrageous at all one for intimidating have, one for revenge he might, <laughs> he might have found stuff around the junkyard to make one, one. for formal wear yes he does have a formal one right. where he goes on dates and stuff wow the shredder's so a man anyway. he's a man with man needs so anyway now we're in new jersey like at a uh, blue at a chemical face? spill oh tgri something like that tgri Yes, which they had actually changed from the comics. This is where I was completely disgusted with April. This is where I, I, I was done with her. It was bad enough that she was a bad actress up to this point. Then I got here to where she was doing the report, and I was like, I'm done with you. You have no credibility to me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Every other April, including, I'm sorry, I'm going to keep doing this, Megan Fox takes the initiative and goes and finds that motherfucking story even if it puts her own life in danger, and she is unwilling to be pushed aside by the common answer. She will ask the questions she believes needs to be asked, and she's not dumb enough to see the corporate face and say, I take this at self-value. Face value, right there. Yep, you're right. I agree. Everything you've said is not bullshit. That's not her character. This April, very much was a Sunday morning fucking wake up USA fucking televangelist bitch. Wake up San Francisco. USA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. That's exactly what she was. She was like oh, bah, 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 bah. and he was like bah, 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 bah. I don't think I would watch that news report cuz this is right. what they did talking That's Charlie how Brown. Bad wah, it was. Wah, Welcome to wah, this episode wah, of the wah, view. Wah, wah, wah. That's how bad it was. Yeah. She was like, tell me about... I'm down here in New Jersey as TGRI, this Tr chemical Dry. company, which, no, in the comics they're not, but we'll get to that later. Um, this, uh, this chemical company, they're helping New Jersey out by cleaning up the spill. Right now I'm being joined by Professor Jordan Perry, Baxter Stockman. Not even going to try to come <laughs> that. Now, Professor Perry... Well, hold on. Do you do you want me to just give you like some B roll because I have a tendency to ramble and you know give you really long winded when you really only need Professor. We're live. Oh, um. So yeah, so we're here. Uh, we're going to clean all this up and we're. Gonna I rehearsed this corporate better. line. Let me lay it on you. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. Initializing corporate bullshit. Dot exe. Actually, you're not far off. Yeah, that's actually exactly. Originally, what we did. he was supposed to work for TGRI. Which is an intergalactic fucking company. He was Specifically, to be... what is today in the current mythology, the Krangs. Better known in the comics as the Umtrons. Krang. That scientist is not a man. He's he not is, fucking real. He is a robot with a little alien in the belly. Beep boop. Guys, he has a brain. Yes, Mikey. We know. In his stomach? No, Mikey. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what it was supposed to be. But because that was comic books and not fucking 
Krang from the TV know, do show. You know that that mo- this movie would have been one hundred percent better it. if that's what, what really happened. They don't it was supposed to be. Don't it was creature, supposed to be. They don't want a creature going around saying, "I want a body, a body." But it was supposed to. Be. It was supposed it was to cut, be. It was cut out of the movie. He was supposed to reveal you at the voice of Krang because that was pretty dead <laughs> on, man. At the end of the movie, he was supposed yeah. to reveal that he was an Umtron. Yes. It was written in the original idea. He was supposed to reveal it at the end of the movie, and they canceled it. That's Might be why because, you got the fuck out of there at the yeah. dance club. Yeah. But originally, yes. But because they took that out, it changes the entire fundamental of this guy's character and makes me ask really serious questions later on. Yeah. Because with with him being an Umtrom, because they all look like Krang from the show, they were like, shit, we can't do that idea because they all look the exact same and everybody's going to wonder, well, it, was that Krang? Was was that the actual Krang? They're why all didn't Krang. He... Yeah, they are all Krang. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why in the new Nickelodeon, they just said, fuck it, and called them all Krang. Krang but, is talking to Krang about Krang with Krang. What does when the Krang, Krang say coming? about the Krang, the thing that the Krang has to worry about with the Krang? But that's that's the reason that this guy's character is so bizarre at different points, is because he was supposed to be. There's a weirdness to this guy where he later gets rescued by Turtles, and, and he, instead of, holy fuck, he's, oh, well, some of the mutagen must have spilled on some on four baby turtles, and then you guys all grew up and learned how to speak proper English. That's Fascinating. Not a, that's not even the part that got me. He didn't go home. Yeah. yeah. He wasn't held prisoner. He was saved. And then they were like, hey, you can, uh, you can sleep in this train. Any real fucking person would have been like, I really want to go the fuck home. The Shredder doesn't know where he lives. He's yeah. safe at home. Yeah. We got pizza. Cool. I'll stay for a couple slices. I got a bed I got to get to. I yeah. need to feed my pets. I've been sleeping in a dump tied to chairs and dealing with weird experimentation for like, I don't know how goddamn long. Twelve hours! At least. Yeah, minimum. <laughs> At least. Yeah, but he's and a no, scientist, it was longer so than honestly, yeah, him no. staying with them Minim- minimum would actually... No. Be somewhat logical because he was like, because you just went through the, the whole thing. Scientific, yeah. oh, the hey, scientific like curiosity. The must have no, fascinating. It's, it's not the scientific. I would, me being a scientist, if that was me, I'd be like, huh, this is fucking weird. I'm going to stick around for this. For what? He already created mutants. Yeah. They know what the I, mutagen is. They They've were already, done in the wild. They, he's, uh, they've already tested the mutagen. They made it. They know how to dispose of it. They are the ones that have already tested and played with it. And he's sophisticated enough with it, which means they've tested it many fucking times, that he can tell when it's been used, how it's been used, how much has been used, and how to counteract it. Mm-hmm. So, four turtles? He's probably made better than that. Yeah, but, but he I made be Toka and to Razar. See, Where's be Bebop and Rocksteady? How they actually That's developed. what they were supposed to be. Because these were four random wild turtles. Wait, I want one good explanation. I grew up. I'd be like, you weren't Give in my lap. Give me one explanation fucking... on why they switched. Give me some notes. And he has more than enough time to come back tomorrow. It is beyond, beyond reason that a real fucking person was kidnapped from his workplace drugged to a dump, forced to experimentate on fucking animals, saved those animals' lives, was basically a slave and was probably threatened with death, then finally escapes his captivity and ends up with four fucking turtle things that say, hey, you can sleep in a train. I'm going home. Food is ready. That's the truth of it. This guy would not by any circumstances ever just stay there. I re- unless he's a scientific brain robot. You yep. Exactly. I mean, technically that would explain a lot of stuff brain that we robot. saw throughout the brain movie. Robot. Yeah, especially his personality and it. stuff. Brain robot. Brain robot, brain robot. <laughs> brain okay. robot, brain robot. He'll hump the boss. Can we put him in another fucking cell, please? <laughs> okay, going back to Master Splinter here. I'm going to argue against Master Splinter simply sitting on a roof. He talks about being he talks about being ever vigilant 
and always silent and always sneaky, but that he puts himself in the very wide open where anybody could possibly see him. Mm-hmm. There's even lawn chairs on the roof indicating that people go up there from time to time. On top of this, do you remember how easy it is to see a turtle from five rooftops away in the last movie? Yep. <laughs> I already Wish. know. In that place that April lives at, nobody's around. Nope, just empty. Apparently. Exactly. Empty. Empty. Nobody else can afford that And he place. only does it at night. Which? Yep. And oh, nobody yeah. ever sits out with the radio nope. in New York. Yep. Nope. Except for that well, one no, guy who they used don't. to. <laughs> they don't. Because in the first movie, if you do that, people come up and steal it. Good point. It's true. No. No. But, but no. really... Casey, Casey fucking saw Raphael. Casey like, Jones has fucking eagle vision. It is not rare. It is not rare in New York City for people to sit up on the roof. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's not. I mean, you they, can't just sit up there and then talk bullshit about we're supposed to be silent ninjas. Don't get yourself caught. Hey, right. Splinter, why are you up here try, getting yourself caught? Goddamn uh, hypocrite. Shut the hell up. I master yeah. Splinter. Which, Who's the master here? So right. we're going to eat. We'll be back to talk more in a minute. Aw, oh, but I... Hold on. Three quick notes. First off, oversized candy bar that fucking Mikey's eating. I want to go back to the 90s and fucking get those, because God damn it, I miss those. <laughs> Second of all... You can get those soon. Christmas. Right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Christmas time is so big candy bars. $15. Yeah, I know. I want the old price, too. Back nope. when it was three fucking dollars for one of them nope. cocksuckers. Inflation. Uh, then the other thing is Dandy that links? asshole that's helping the 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 foot guy who's new on the job. Oh, the April. He's wrapping cords like a cocksucker. Let me wrap up these AV cables. <laughs> uh, now they're a tangled mess. Get the fuck out of my gut! I'm glad this is day one. Go to fuck home. You're fired. <laughs> I don't even have to give you a paycheck. Thanks for coming in. Never again. Nope, sir. Got to pay him for the time he was there. And then of course number three. Donatello with the mop, making oh. out with a fucking mop. Moppy? Moppy? That's not, that's not even the one that got me. He was, they were cleaning everything, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah they, were trying, everything. they were trying to clean the apartment. Did you watch what Donatello did? Nobody caught it. I caught it because I live with somebody that is hardcore about cleaning. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to tell you something right now. If she came home and saw me mopping the sink... She would straight lose, lose her shit. Mind. Yeah. <laughs> After working as a janitor, no, I caught that. He That's was, why I said Donnie with the mop. He was mopping Fuck. the sink. He didn't. He didn't get water from the sink. He was mopping the floor. Saw the sink, lifted the mop, and said, quick, 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 and continued on. He uh-huh. mopped the sink. Fucking uh... gross. <laughs> now we'll be back. Hey guys, did you like that podcast? If so, remember to check out FandomNight.com. At FandomNight.com, you can drop a line to this show, or you can check out other podcasts as well. We cover all kinds of topics, everything from comic books, wrestling, movies, TV shows, video games, animes, mangas. It's outrageous. We seem to have a podcast for just about everything, and you have access to it just by going over to FandomNight.com. So, Check it out, guys. We're going to get out of here.